So hi everyone, welcome to today's meeting. As we wind down our energies, our impulses to do, even the impulse of meditation, we're just calling all of ourselves back into our heart space from all space time. We also get rid of, neutralize, release all the energies that are not ours from all space time. And let us utilize this co-joint space of presence of loving awareness as we address the topic of integration. Because this ascension period of humanity is all about integration. How do we integrate our higher dimensional selves into this 3D body? And in terms of quantum physics, everything is just a fluctuation of energy, just like our bodies are, our world around us that we call the world. It just depends on from what point of view you're looking. And this process of integration is so essential, it's key, because in this sense, life becomes the highest teacher. And every single circumstance, every moment of your life is the teacher. And integration is called for because we need to collapse this binary mode of existence, that the split, the duality that is ingrained in our human experience. And the more intimate we become with our life, the more open we become to the moment that integration is taking place intrinsically. You don't have to actually do anything. Although uh, on this path of consciousness, when you have um, a higher and higher bandwidth of presence, you are just noticing as the space itself is noticing exactly what is taking place within it. So let's say, if I use the witness analogy, it's it's the closest thing that I can use to explain this, but the witness is still not it. Because you can become a witness from the mind. You can pretend your mind is the very acute. It can pretend to be the witness and you're witnessing your body, you're witnessing everything. You are moving into this position of, of the observer, the witness. But that's still a mental exercise. When this movement happens gradually, the movement of your being becoming the presencing attribute of your life. 
then it trains you to have a wider and wider capacity to just be with anything and everything that is taking place in your field. And ultimately what is being called for is this radical openness, the radical unbound openness to the reality that is experienced through you. Integration, true integration is the maturation process. It's no longer chasing love and light. It no longer believes in stories, concepts, theories. It has a radical, radically changed attitude to people, things, and places. Integration, per se, already has the wisdom, wisdom of Viveka, which is discernment. Because the less we are channeled into our personalities, which is normal, our per ego personalities have been formed by, since birth, by our parents, by the society, by the schooling, people around us, the family. All of our experiences have formed our personality. So the personality, when we do not solely get channeled into that perspective, then we are allowed to open up to more and more of our infinite self. Sometimes that infinite self is asking, irrefutably asking for the dissolution of that which is not itself. And those processes can be very painful. And I'm noticing in my own personal life and it's happening in bouts, of course, it doesn't happen all at once, but lately I'm asked to no longer shy away from my power or go into these compromising circumstances within my relationships or a job situation where I would just accept it in the past and go along with very compromising equations, power dynamics. Now it's no longer to tolerated. Something, it's like you might call it a divine justice or a um, my higher self stepping in and saying, okay, no matter what, no matter what the price, it needs to stop. This, even, even on a personality level, now the personality is also being chiseled through this higher view, higher embodiment. And we are noticing this everywhere, 
humanity is going through this essentially intense period of releasing karmic bonds where somehow, somewhere we have agreed to play small that is not for the highest interest of, of the whole. We hide our light. We hide our might. Because that place is comfortable. And we need to take full responsibility for everything that you see or we see in our life unfolding. Full responsibility. But I also see at the same time that the quality of the light, the strength of this vibratory field that is gracing us, is aiding this integration that we are called to go through. Throughout many, many sessions, we've addressed the stepping out of the victim mentality. But the victim mentality is so deeply ingrained in ourselves, in our cellular memory that it's hiding these programs of victimhood or, or victim perpetrator dynamics. The memory of that is hiding in our cellular memory in the most multifaceted way. And as we are developing our consciousness, the bandwidth of our consciousness, so it's not all the same, what I mean by the bandwidth, it's not all the same to live your life channeled through this very limited person as a character in the world, having its own life story, as opposed to slowly, slowly, a wider, more open, open being that is less and less convinced that they are a body, that they have an eye. And essentially integration for me is aligning fully and embodying the will of one. So there's our own seemingly free will, the will of what we think is the person. Now that is a very conditioned will. And if the person had not somewhat dissolved there is no free will, by the way. Yes, we're still thinking that we have a choice. But our choices are informed by programs, fears, limitation. So is that really a choice then? And as the bandwidth of our consciousness is expanding, that's shedding this split binary view of the person, the personality. We're intrinsically stepping into giving ourselves into this higher will. And this higher will you might call the path of Dharma. 
where you serve the whole, the highest good of all. And that also entails that slowly you're stepping out your karma. You're stepping out of the ingrained programming, fear programming, the veiling of your truth. So let us start this today's meditation. And as the inquiry of today's meditation, I would propose to be this radical openness, a radical presencing of what there is in this field of our loving awareness. Notice how the ego is undermining not doing and silence. So we connect to our higher self. I am presence. We connect to Mother, Father, God. And as we co-join our heart spaces, I ask that only the highest wisdom, love, truth, healing, the will of one can come through our field. And just feel how you're dropping back into this human vessel, the body. Calling all of yourself back. And ultimately, we are also training to abide in the light so much as to not need any type of meditation. We're strengthening our pranic channels. That is the spine that is extending upward and downward. You can connect to your guides, angelic medical teams. Just notice that there are Roots running from your feet down, your feet and your tailbone, down towards the center of this planet. They're traversing your earth star. Half a meter be below your feet. all the way to the center of this planet, just harmonizing with the Schumann resonance of your area. Imagine the Schumann resonance as the heartbeat that you are being nourished by. So we are recognizing the nourishing grace of this planet. Notice now very slowly that through these roots that are running from 
Gaia's heart all the way to your root chakra, through your feet, legs, you can feel the energy cursing at the bottom of your feet. Just allow to pay attention, pay attention and allow this nourishing energy, the mother force to be filling your body. with So much support. If we feel destabilized or panicky or we can't ground now it's the time to clear all of the confusion from the root chakra there's so much destabilization going on in the outside world and we can plug into this very easily our attention and focus can be drawn out so bring your attention and focus and scan your body. Just feel your bum on this chair or wherever you're sitting. And you're paying attention to your breath, which is the force that is enlivening and souling this body. These very simple, immediate processes of integration are allowing us to open up to the immensity of the moment. People easily use the word be in the now. They have no idea what it means because they should not have any idea because it's inconceivable. What it is, is the immensity of your limitless nature is here right now, every single moment, every single breath. Your innate. unlimited being is more encompassing, more obvious than your body than your thoughts, emotions, feelings, sensations. Notice that all of it is within. You. You. the unlimited, open, light of God. There is a wonderful field of loving awareness. Just notice and inquire that loving awareness as yourself. And train yourself to slowly open so wide, so limitless.
where you are able to presence everything that is taking place within you. Because the phenomenal world is taking place within you. Everything that seems to appear, including subtle movements of energy. And you're dropping into limitless space of allowing. Notice that if on the surface, so just visualize a circle. And the circle has a center. And most of the time we are living on the circumference of this circle. And imagine that your body, your body awareness, your character, your so-called life, your roles are all making up this circumference. And right now we're tracing our attention and focus back into the center. And the center is in the center of your heart, on the right. The heart on the right. Just feel this vortex on the heart, in the heart on the right. We're moving into this vortex. It is the so-called vanishing point. where you can visualize the circumference. So the circumference is your body awareness, your thoughts, emotions, feelings, sensations. You're drawing the circumference it's almost that there is this strong pull. It's an energetic pull that is drawing this circumference into the center. It's a very, very simple exercise. But notice as you're dropping deeper and deeper into your center, you're dropping all
limitation. Notice that the sense of the eye, anything that comes after the eye, I am this, that, here, there. Sense of the eye is also being dissolved. into this vanishing point at the center. It's almost like the center of your heart on the right. Is this a waterfall or drop? And all the waters are flowing into this drop. So the water drops into limitlessness. And it's spiraling deeper and deeper and deeper down. But what are you noticing? And there's no place to land. There's just the grace of your openness. And let's play multidimensionally. From this space of dissolution, you're noticing that yes, your body is still here. You still have some thoughts as a person, feelings, emotions, sensations. You're hearing my voice, you have your own voice. Nothing had intrinsically changed. But you're being from the center. And this being from the center of your being, which is the self, is collapsing this seemingly imminent separation, a separatedness. Because essentially, that is integration. Consider the world is an illusion. Only Brahman is real. The world is Brahman. Thus your collapsing merging illusion with God.
does your center as yourself is one with the periphery, which is the world, your body, your sense of separateness. integrating the chasm. This is training you to integrate the separation that you have agreed to come into. But many of us had been lost. for many, many lifetimes in this illusion of separation. And now it's time to collapse the distance in the center and the perimeter. And this is exactly what is fertilizing every single breath of your life. When the Brahma, the God being, as you, expands into your life. Better said, your life experience. Where there is no more separation as you, your life, God. And notice the attributes that you have right here and right now, as you're merging with your center, the self. This is your birthright, knowing who you truly are. Then the who is a problem because there's no who. There just is being. And essentially, there's no difference between the beingness of a tree or you, the beingness of the grass, the beingness of the multiverse. Allow this immensity to enter your heart. And this beingness is the purification that we need. The purification that allows the dissolution of the veil, the many veils. mending the age-old heartache of separation. And as we deepen and heal, we notice as we live from the center, we notice that this present, ever-present feeling of lack, 
that the ego personality is struggling with. There's always something missing, unwhole, starting to dissolve. That's why it's sad your heart needs to break countless times so that it's process the breaking of the heart is opening one to the immense love of source because anything any person any circumstance that makes you happy or evokes that love that you think is love that you think is the source of the love you feel is still not it that's why the mirage is the heartache that's why the heart breaks over and over again To finally allow the love of your being to take over. And this is the space, do you feel it? The space that is healing all trauma. All discord, separation. And it's teaching you that you are the source. You are the source. This is embodied spirituality, collapsing the distance between parameter and the center, sorry, the circumference and the center.
where we are not connected anymore to energetic fluctuations of our kundalini or energy body. We're not harboring in any spaces, interesting locations. There's still the field of the mind. We drop into the purity of the now, the purity of the self. And the self has no attributes. The self has no attributes. And that is you. Remending the heartache of separation. The belief that you're this person who is suffering in a world of confusion. That is embodied spirituality because there is no spirituality separate from life everything is of spirit spiritual mm. you cannot just identify a like a segment of of a society called the spiritual ones <laughs> mm. just further imposing the separation because we live in the age where oneness is called for unity and the realization that there is only one and when you get to that point the center that is the one And that one is present in all as the one. And I ask to integrate the feeling of wholeness. I ask to heal all feelings of lack separation, incompleteness, The love of your being as your being is fierce. Familiarize yourself with the love of your being, which is one, it's the same as the love of God. 
love of source, as source. It's fierce. It does not leave any space for the mirage. For the illusion. So there's either illusion or there's love. It's very important. Look at your life. There's either illusion or love. And there's clinging, suffering, pain. It's illusion. And you know and recognize when there's just love. Nobody needs to be taught. It's either karma or dharma. Karma is still not being emancipated enough to merge with the will of one. Feel the freedom, feel this embodiment, feel it. I thank our guides, thank Mother Father God to this, for this teaching, transmission, all the light codes, the embodiment that is facilitated through these words, the frequency, the being of us together. I ask to fully embody these light codes. And I ask this transmission to be sealed from all the spaces, times and spaces. May we be all. open to the call of the sun. Maybe you recognize this call as a humanity so that we create and be as the light of the sun. So it is.